Now you are what third generation roofer? Fourth generation. Fourth generation. Okay, tell me the story about the family business. So, uh, 1936, my great grandfather uh, started a, a roofing company, and uh, around 1960, my grandfather took over. 1989, my father took over, and, and we've done all different types of stuff. We've been at the Roofers Union, did a, a ton of commercial work, lots of new construction. And as I grew up, you know, my my grandfather and my father, you know, they're they're they did business in a different era, uh, and it's done a lot differently. So my dad was always like, "Don't do construction; it's too hard." You know, uh, go go do something. So I, I didn't start construction, although I was on the roof at 11. Um, I was a police officer. So I was a police officer. Yeah, I was a police officer for three years. And come to find out, I, I hated it. Yeah. Uh, I, I just didn't like it. So I came back to construction and I started working with my dad. And I said, you know what? This is like my heritage. And I, I, I like doing this. But it doesn't have to be this hard. So right. I was I was physically working, you know, I had tools on and I was running jobs, I was running work, I was project managing, I was installing. And I was like, there's there's gotta be some way that we could do a better job and grow this company because I gave up a full time job with health benefits and, and all, all kinds of perks. Sure. I'm back to construction. So Fast forward a couple of years, I took over the company in 2016, and we and we rebranded to what is now Champion Exteriors. I was going to ask about it. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, and I and I I opened another office, and I said, I got to get help. Like I, yeah. I can't do this, this whole thing by myself. So 2022 September of 2022, uh, I was searching on uh, Indeed the resume search and I found uh, Matt who is now our, our general manager okay and he came in for an interview we just we clicked and we both kind of had the same goal like I have something here let's grow it yeah and yeah. after that it, it spread like wildfire and he he kind of led us to a certain path because he had some experience in the HVAC field oh uh, and, interesting so that's kind of how we landed at, at certain path. And, you know, we, after that, it, like I said, it spread like wildfire. We really started pushing. Yeah. And uh, yeah. nonstop pushed ever since. That's great. So so how does that how did that conversation go? Did Matt go, hey, Ron, I think there's there's an organization that can can help us provide some systems and structure and, you know, and, and I think we should check it out or, or did someone call us, call you cold from us and, and, and Matt, you know, said, oh yeah, I know that group. How did, how did that relationship start? So, uh, he was trained by, like, uh, I believe it was one of certain competitors. Okay. And he had reached out to the rep and they're like, Hey, uh, we don't do, we don't do roofing. Yeah. But certain F does guys yeah. would really benefit. Or, uh, you know, going to talk to the guy a certain path. Yeah. So we, and, and I'm not sure who we talked to on the phone, but we got right into the first uh, profit day that we could. Mm. And uh, Patrick had sat with me at the, at the table. And a big turning point for me was when you sit at profit day and they do like the calculations based on your area and how many people are in your area and your single family homes. So well, other than Los Angeles, our market here in New Jersey is the densest market in the country. Right. And so we're in Ohio. We're, we're outside of Cleveland. And, and he's pointing around the room uh, and, and he's like, all right, you guys, your population in the 30-mile radius is 300,000. Your population is 200,000. He pointed at us your population is 5 million. I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. And and they came up with a formula and they're like, you know, the amount of single family homes in the 30 mile radius is like something crazy, like 700,000 homes. Yeah. And and right right there, I was like, wow. 
yeah. if anybody yeah. has potential right in this spot that I'm in. So I signed right up. No, you were no in. apprehension, no nothing. I was like, we got to do this. 